What part of the brain controls balance and dizziness? This is a great question. And my understanding is that we don't actually have one specific balance region for the brain. So information from the balance organs in the inner ears is rapidly collected. It's connected to our spinal column and our eyes and multiple areas in the brain. So we're actually getting these reflex arcs that are responding almost instantly to gravity and postural shifts. And balance information is going through all the various parts of our brainstem, our midbrain and the higher levels parts of our brain. And arguably also it's in direct conversation with our emotional system as well, our reptilian amygdala limbic system, that emotional brain. So interestingly, I think because navigating the world and being stable and being able to see things that aren't bopping around and moving. So having stable eyes, which is why the ears are directly communicating with the eyes so that as we look at a moving object or if we're on a horse or something, it's not that the world's bopping, we're actually able to stabilise it. This is so important for safety and survival um, as well as being upright, having our neck muscles upright so our head isn't, you know, moving around and making it difficult for us to, to focus on anything. These are all such primitive uh, requirements for survival that I think the balance information actually just goes to all parts of the brain. It is, it's not just going to one balance region. It's actually being collected and dispersed out into multiple regions. And I think that's also why we can have so many traffic jams and we can end up with chronic dizziness and it can be so deeply impacted by our fight, flight, freeze and stress patterns in, and when the nervous system is feeling dysregulated or outside of our window of tolerance, that dizziness can be one of the symptoms um, that really kind of goes side by side with anxiety or feeling dissociated or frozen. So I hope that answers the question. Our dizzy, um, our balance information and dizziness signals are really coming, coming through multiple areas in the brain, which is quite interesting because we have a visual cortex and we have an auditory cortex, but we don't seem to have a balanced cortex. So yeah, it's a good question.